Interior Exterior, Mrs. Sinha's Home, Day. Mrs. Sinha ushers Raya quickly through a backlit living room. White curtains billow out from the balcony. Mrs. Sinha sweeps towards them. I was just outside when you knocked. Such a nice day, isn't it? You don't feel like staying indoors at all. The air shimmers with heat waves. Does this lady not see them? No matter. Raya launches into her request. Um, okay. Very nice to meet you. I'm Raya from the fourth floor. I am so sorry to disturb you, but I... Basically, my toilet just stopped. Basically, we don't have any water and you didn't come downstairs to ask, so... Rhea tries to keep up with Mrs. Sinha through the white curtains as she talks fast. Then she stops short. Exterior, Mrs. Sinha's balcony, day. Mrs. Sinha's balcony is big for a flat that has only one resident in a lower middle-class Indian city apartment. Shaded by a protruding lip of the roof, the balcony houses a beautiful little garden. Rhea steps into the sun to see better. There are tubs of pink flowers, delicate vines, fat yellow lemons, cucumbers, mint and curry leaves in small beds, big pots of aloe, taro, and neem saplings. It's almost too many plants. Rhea also sees discarded tools, like they were tried but didn't work, haphazard clods of soil on the tiles, and some withering fronds in the blazing sunlight. It's a pretty place, in progress. A gushing sound. Mrs. Sina sprays a seedling with a hose. Maybe she's letting it run a lot more than she should. Rhea's jaw drops. This woman has water? Some tea in a minute? You take milk? I prefer a good chai myself, but I have not met my neighbors enough to guess what they like. Mrs. Sina splashes her leafiest plants, turning them sodden. Maybe she does this more than once. Of course. Not everyone is welcome. Some come in, drink my chai, sit in my garden, and lecture me about my life. Those are the people I won't see again. Silence. Rhea is still processing. Mrs. Sina clocks this, misreads as awe. My husband had the green thumb. I'm just carrying on. Surviving. Mrs. Sina pours out the water. Maybe she adjusts some pots, checks how they stand, or pats the soil down. On the leaves she splashed, the droplets sparkle. I love how the light falls here. These plants. They made our own little world. Wherever we went. My husband and I. We enjoyed our tea outdoors and watched them together. The flowers and the fruit. If he was hungry, I used to simply pluck what he grew, like this, and cook him a feast straight from our balcony. Mrs. Sina passes a small bunch of dark curry leaves to Rhea. She turns back to her plants, maybe rubs some withering fronds between her fingers. But now, it gets harder to not see this. I care. I have to care so much. Every bud matters. Everything that was his. Then Mrs. Sina shakes off the gloom, straightens up. Chai! And she sweeps back inside. Rhea snaps out of it. Interior, Mrs. Sina's living room, day. Rhea chases Mrs. Sina across the living room, toward her kitchenette. Sina, ma'am, I am really, really sorry to bother you like this, but you have to understand how much water you're using. The tank is almost empty, and the handyman won't move until everyone says what their problem is. Rhea eyes Mrs. Sina, washing a saucepan. But I don't have a problem. You're very lucky. Not like that. But the rest of us have no toilet, no shower, no tap. There's not even enough to boil and drink. Ma'am, the whole building is downstairs waiting for you. In this heat. Mrs. Cena pours milk into a saucepan, scoops tea powder as the milk slowly boils, adds crushed ginger, cardamom, and cloves, ladles the finished tea into two cups. When Rhea finishes... But that is not my responsibility. Mine is to honor what my husband left me. And you saw, all that green life, it fills my heart with so much peace. And it needs what it needs. That's super. But I still need to flush my toilet. Mrs. Cena shakes her head. 
She carries her tray of the teacups and a sugar jar to the living room. With the curtains now undrawn, the room is bright, full of comfy wood-backed furniture. It's unlikely anyone else in the building can afford it. Mrs. Cena puts the tray on a coffee table. She lifts a cup like she has already won the argument. Rhea remains standing. I've been taking care of myself for a very long time. I know how this works. Always save water in two buckets. Keep three minimum at home. That's what we did in the old days. Rhea glances at the balcony. There are no buckets there. Surely the supply will be refilled soon. Latest by tonight, I hope. Consider this is a lesson learned, dear. Every woman for herself. Off Rhea, the outrage building. 